Just remember the time where he froze both my Pokemon. Hmm. Still kind of have nightmares over that one. Not every day one move freezes both your Pokemon and one can't wake up ever. Oh no, wait, that was Jolteon. Freezing is just my mortal enemy because it has worked me over more times than I can count. You freeze to the left, you freeze to the right, you freeze to the left, you freeze to the right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Cloister. Ice Beam. Salamance. Stangoose. Brick Break. Actually, let's protect first. Detect first. I just had this feeling he'll be ganged up on. Hooray! I thought it had an inch of health left, but then again, how could it? Pretty much guys, if you want good experience, just start spamming battles of all these guys. But if you can, battle the guys with the biggest and strongest Pokemon first. What I mean by that is this. People who have Pokemon like Slaking, Gardevoir, Blissey, Salamence, those Pokemon that are pretty powerful, normally are the ones that give you the most experience. If you can find a way to take them out easily, use it. Steel Wing on Zangoose, come on, Sam, take one for the team. Crap. Crap! He goes for another earthquake, he's gonna be able to take us both. He's gonna be able to hurt us both. Yeah, nothing. Due to intimidate, he can't do much anymore. Which might actually call for a switch! Yeah, we're gonna switch out Zangoose for Zatu. And I'm only doing rematches for people I've fought in the game. So people that I haven't fought, like there's a couple of people you can fight at, uh, at Gaetan Port, but I never fought them before, so they don't count. They don't exist in the game because they're not in Buddy's walkthrough. That's a conversation right there, I already won. I talked this guy into submission. Rawr. It's gonna do so much, watch! Oh, the damage! Oh, look, it's retaliating! Against the wrong guy. I think you can see the AI is getting smarter in their super effective hit. You notice? You know, they don't attack the useless one, they attack the one who actually can be, get hurt by the move. That actually did a lot for a not very effective hit. Come on, go for that critical hit. Poopy. Oh, it's going for pan attack, therefore I will be able to defeat it. Where's my critical hit? 
Seriously, where is my critical hit? And why did he get a critical hit when he used a not very effective move? When I couldn't get one when I used just an effective move. If I don't sound very excited guys, because this part of the game actually for me is kind of boring because I'm just rebounding people. Don't get me wrong, I love this game. But this part is boring and only the fact that I just want to show the rematches. It's fun, I get to show the rematches and I also get to ex ride, I also get to make my Pokemon rise higher levels, which is a win-win. So like four episodes of extra battles. <gasps> oh my god! Use that. The rock focus spot, okay. Crap, 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 crap. We gotta heal our Pokemon, they're too weak. We gotta rush, 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 rush. Come on, shut up. Just let me stay here, come on. Stupid boy. Alright. I don't care. I know I have a good amount of time to get there, but, you know. Come on. His Pokemon will also be level 50 outside Coliseums. In the Coliseums, he actually picks from random Pokemon. You can find them on forums. I don't know what they are exactly. But he picks from random of those, and if you're missing Shadow Pokemon, he'll have Shadows. Alright, so he's back again. He just tells you no. He just goes, not you again, you want my autograph, you're staying, blah, 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 so. So you see that is Ludicolo, and it's Ludicolo, so original. Oh, they're level 40, huh, I thought they'd be level 50. Hmm. Oh, anyways. Obviously, he only has one Shadow Pokemon, which is kind of disappointing. Ah. Nah. What? I swear, Joe's man, if you get paralyzed by that. Alright. I swear, if you get burned by that. Alright. Actually, I think I can just use Thunderball and it go down. Yep. So Thunder would have been extreme overkill. The only reason I would have thought they would survive Thunderbolt is because Ludicolo has special defense on its side. There's the nose pass that Xander's critical hit. Critical hit is. Critical they hit is. Actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to stop with the rematches here. It's going to take too long. Pretty much everyone has the same Pokemon they have. They're just level 50 now. Pretty much the same. Uh, after I end this part, I will go. I will grab a couple stuff to show you where they are. And then afterwards, I'm just going to offline fight everything. So, I don't know. I'm sorry if you guys are looking forward to it, but I, I change my mind a lot. That's me. I change my mind a lot. And normally because when I say something at the time it seemed like a good idea, but then when I start thinking about other things, I'm like, I could do this a lot easier. I could if I did it this way. That's who I am. So what I'll do is after I end this video, I'll, I'm going to do some stuff first before I end it. The next time, in the next video, um, what was I going to say? Oh, right. I was, oh yeah, also I did put my Pokemon attack rate resistance, these guys don't count because I didn't catch them during the game. But um, what was I going to say? I will grab a couple stuff, and by next video we will start Mount Battle. If I have the heart, which I probably won't, I will attempt or Colosseum. And even now my catch rate is superb. Full health, perilous, ultra ball, in the bag. Dancing and battling, they're not the same, no, no. No, no, they're not the same. 
So I'm pretty much done doing the rematches. It is getting a little boring for me, sorry. But it's pretty much the same thing as it is all the way. Every guy, every person I was able to buy, ever able to fight, has level 50 Pokemon now. So actually, this is gonna be a very, very short video, possibly, uh, like extremely short. Unless I can think of something else to get. Uh, thinking, 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 thinking. Wait. No, Justy might take a while. Uh, what time? How much time? We're at 10 minutes. Uh, I can attempt it, possibly. Anyways, if you go in here and you talk to him, he tells you, you know, as a mere token of his gratification for saving his city, he gives us the XP share. You can get that before the game is, is over. I just forgot about it entirely. It's really good if you need to train a weak Pokemon, like Mawile. Yes, Mawile is weak, but that Fire Blast just gives him that burn. And he owned oh, you! He burned you! Um, battle CDs are just placed throughout the world. I actually don't know where every single one of them is right now. I can't think of it off the top of my head. And for me to look it up on the internet, it would pretty much be you just doing that instead. No point. Well, then I guess while I am here, uh, I might well just go over a couple things. Actually, I can go ahead and pick my members while I'm here, too. Or just clue you into possible members. What I'm thinking right now. Let's see. Still got quite a few Shadow Pokemon here to purify. Oh, shouldn't be sitting on the edge of my bed. Hold on. Also, my chair broke. I don't know if I mentioned that, so I'm using a chair from outside. Uh, just thinking here. Actually, if you guys want to guess who you think I might use, go ahead. Again, Articuno, Ultra, Zapdos, and Lugia will not be used, even though Lugia is a badass. Hmm. Let's check the Purify Chamber for a minute. Melee. Oh, wow. Almost ready to purify everyone. Uh, think, 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 think. Just looking at everyone in general. Just thinking about Toki for a minute. Wow, oh, Stagnant is actually taking a while to purify. Right now, I'm not quite sure who I want to use above everyone else. Like, right now, these three right here are guaranteed. Those three. Cloister's okay, but I, I don't know. He's still on that fence. I really want to make you guys just sit here and look at me, just go, look at me hearing, hmm, 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 aha, hmm, I see. Yeah, I caught it at the rock. The rock! I actually got pretty good speed, huh? Let's check them all. Actually, here, I'm just go through all the Pokemon I have right now. You know? Trip down memory lane, per se. Look at that abysmal attack strat. Good. I still can't believe I caught the legendary burst so easily. That just blew my mind when that happened. You couldn't hear from the way I reacted. Party. Kick, kick. And one and two. Come on, ladies, it's all right. And one. Uh, I wasn't even looking at it. I actually is lady. Yeah, it has Shadow Storm, but never used it. Kind of Kong, Kind of Kong. 
I like Rabidash, but there's just something about it. Maybe it's the fact that its nose just kind of like, blah, 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 blah. like seriously, if you look at it, its nose kind of like goes up and kind of like, I don't, I don't even know what you call it, like trying to grab the air a couple times before it comes back. So weird. Tauros is awesome. Um, actually, who's the fastest of the birds? I'm pretty sure it's Zapdos. Yep. And Dugtrio is as fast as Moltres. Look at this. Lucky Punch, but can't use it, because look at that. 20 attack! Oh my god, that's so good! Um, wow. Lapras might actually have an attack increasing nature, because normally it's a better special attacker in my book. Maybe that's just my book, though. Hmm. Well, I'm sorry, guys. This video is actually going to be pretty short. I'll see you guys next time on the next walkthrough, buddy. This will be, this, uh, the next parts will be the finals up to the end. Uh, I mentioned in the final, the episode 40, that it's going to be like set 1, set 2, set 3, set 4, set 5 for like 10 videos. No, I will be speeding every, ba every battle up, up to 100. At 100, I will play it out as normal. But, I will fit as many as I can into a video. Since I will be speeding it up, I'll have to record for 60 minutes to get a good 30 minute video in. Anyways, enough of me rambling. I'll see you guys next time on the next Pokemon XD Gala Darkest Walkthrough. Good night, everybody. Hey, everybody. Walkthrough Buddy here doing a very quick video. I'm actually going to add on to the last part that I did. Um, there's one thing I want to note before I do this is... In the last video, I said we're pretty much going to start Mount Battle afterwards. I... I forgot one of the main aspects of the Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness thing, and that was the Shadow Pokemon. Now, I did reclaim Shadow Manectric not long ago. Actually, today I did. So I have claimed all of them except for Shadow Dragonite, which I'm positive you can only get after purifying everyone else or capturing them. My memory is kind of fuzzy on that one. So... I'm working on purifying all of them right now, except for Lugia, he's like the grand finale. But, I'm also going to add Meyer B's last fight on to the end of the last video as well, that this one will be on. So, what I'm doing now though, is something different, it's actually going to play into my team. Now, originally, my friends told me to use Salamence and Starmie since they had good diversion. I mean, divergence, whatever. You know, they can handle a lot of types. But I had so much fun the last time I did Mount Battle doing this. What we have here is the Trade Center, which unfortunately, one downside, can only be accessed after the game is over. Now, I only say unfortunately because there are some Pokemon I would like to use before the game is over, instead of using the same number of Pokemon I would use throughout the game. Like, so. But, anyways. In order to, hold on, I'm just going to pick up the camera for a minute and show you what you ha need. See, back then, you can see it on the screen right there, you needed a, sorry, a trading device that, uh, I don't know if it came with the game, it's been so long, but it's this, right here. Uh, I don't even know, you can see that, hold on, I'll put the night vision on. Uh, da -da 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 -da. There we go, night vision. It's this thing right here. It is pretty much a cord that goes into the Wii slot right there, kind of like the controller. And what you do is, when you have your when you have your Game Boy, which is the only one, the, either the Advance or the Color, like I have. Well, it's not a Color; it's an Advance. Well, Advance SP. I forgot there was another version. So what you do is you turn it on. Uh, mine came out wrong. Hold on. Sorry, the game's kind of, not dirty, but sometimes, I played it not long ago, give me a sec. This is probably the weirdest part of the XD walkthrough that you're actually ever going to see, so. Turn it on again. There we go. 
Now, as you'll see, once you turn it on, it starts saying seeking connection, checking connection with controller socket two. That's this. And if it connects, and if everything goes okay, this will change to the XD screen. Um, what? Hold on. Uh, to connect to the Game Boy Pokemon Fire Rider, at least you must have Hall of Fame data. The network on Machine Island One must also be activated. Shit. I don't want to have to do that. That's that's so long of a process. Oh well, never mind. I guess I'll see you guys later. Dumb island. All right, let's try this again. Let's see now. I went ahead and beat the game. I got the one island connection down. This should work now. I actually failed before because I I was talking to this guy on the phone. He was looking for something from uh, to come work on our refrigerator here, and I accidentally hit my Game Boy with the door when I opened it up. Hey, success! All right, I'm gonna place this down. Pretty much what I'm doing right now is I'm bringing over uh, evolutions from the old game or from my Fire Red to here. I'm not going to show all of them, I'm just showing the trade system. Yeah, I need my Perch on Fire Red Link. <laughs> Big Legend of Zelda fan. Haven't played every single game because I haven't had the pleasure of playing every single game. But I just wanted to show the trade system at least once. Since it is kind of side mission y or whatever. And also, if you notice, I did catch two other trap hinge at the rock poke spot, which is actually kind of weird, because I haven't even found a, uh, I haven't even found a Santru or a Gligar there. I found actually three trap pinch total. The first one from the locker, and two others off screen. Anyways, guys, that is the trade system. Just wanted to show that you do need that doodad, uh, trade thing to do it. See you guys when we fight Minor B. Hey, everybody. Walk through Buddy here, who's a little annoyed at the moment. Um... <clears throat> this actually my last video um, walkthrough wise that'll be in this quality. I am right now using uh, Pinnacle Studios 14 that I bought a long time ago, but apparently my old computer couldn't handle what it did. Anyway, I just want to make a note because right now I can't narrate due to BS things that are happening with the microphone and all that crap right now, and it's actually pissed me off to the point where I. Just just want to play this normally. Don't give a care, don't care anymore about it. Hopefully, eventually I get a mic. But anyways, after you snag all 82 Shadow Pokemon, when you go to Gaetan Port, or I don't, I think it's anywhere for that matter. But I'm, but when you go to Gaetan Port, the Minor B radar will go off, and Minor B will be up here at the top of the lighthouse with the final Shadow Pokemon. So let's go ahead and jump into this battle with my new team.